keep it happier, Stuart, please. Nice. Well, I first had a, a blood test that showed a raised PSA when I was 55, and I was checked quarterly at, thereafter, and when I was 58 there was a sudden spike, so I was then had to be referred for a biopsy, which was positive unfortunately, which then meant I had to have a radical prostectomy, which was the old-fashioned operation they don't do so often now, and I had that 12 years ago, and touch wood, you know, I've been absolutely fine since, so I'm here to tell people that it's not, you, know, you get over it, it's not the end of the world, and you know, look ahead. Be positive. I think, especially in, maybe in Glasgow in the west of Scotland, men are reluctant to talk about these things, but you, know, you must talk about it. And that's the whole point of the prostate cancer campaign is to make men aware and make their wives aware. Because I found in my volunteering that very often it's the wife that comes along and says, My husband's got this, well, what should he do? Uh, so I think it's vital to keep the wives involved as well. And how will a campaign like this in a betting shop help, do you think? Well, I have men, you know, betting shops are good social meeting places for men and they all talk to each other about things they might not talk about at home. And that's what I think is the positive thing, that they can talk to one another and maybe just pick up something that makes me think, maybe, you know, maybe I should go and get checked.